Alright, I got my direct clutch or third gear clutch drum. Um, I'm about to knock the bushing out and put a new bushing in. Um, just kind of take note of where the bushing is and uh, so that way you can know where to put the new one back in at. I'm going to be using two sets of bushing drivers. Um, this one's a bunch of loose different size bushing drivers. Um, then I'm going to be using the uh, 350 bushing driver to drive them in. Um, so in order for me to drive it out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some bushing drivers from another set. So if you don't have this set, the 350 bushing driver set for a 350 transmission, and you, you, you're using loose bushing drivers, definitely be sure you take note where the bushing is because as you can see inside, this bushing has another quarter inches it can go in to bottom out at that lip right there if you can see it in the video um, so I'll just take a glance of where it's at at the top and I see it's bottomed out it stops right there at the uh, the edge there where it stops coning coning out there um, so I'm gonna knock it out with this one so I got that one took about three hits of the hammer and it came out pretty easy so um, just take this one and uh, match it up with one that's in the kit here and then uh, we'll put that one back in. Alright I found my bushing um, just want to show you this the bushing I found is almost twice as wide as one that came out the, one, the new one so the new one's going to be twice as wide as the, um, the one that came out so that probably explains why I have had extra room from the old bush and where it was at to the edge of the lip so and I measured from the um, from the uh, edge of the lip where it starts uh, getting smaller and from the top here where the old one was at it measures the same as this bush in the wide one so just to let you know all these other ones was either too big too small it, it didn't match the diameter but this one matched the diameter but it didn't match the width so which is fine I'm going to uh, go ahead and put this one in So I went ahead and put my bushing on my um, bushing driver and it sits right up there on the edge there. So it sits right there nice and uh, snug and I'm going to put this in there then I'm going to tap it down. Alright I got my sun shell. I went ahead and took my gear off because um, this has uh, two bushings in it one on each end so and that goes in here um, I figured it might be easier just to go ahead and take this off so that way I'm not I, I, this is, is on a flat surface um, because the sprocket doesn't come all the way through the drum so it sits about halfway inside this is a stopping point so I went ahead and took that off so that way I can take these two bushings out on each end and replace them with two new ones and then I'll put this bracket back in. Alright I got my planet carrier here um, I've got one bushing in here so I'm going to knock it out take note where it sits at on both sides and alright we're going to do the casing uh, bushing uh, just take note where, where it's at and then um, and I don't have a bushing that's going to be able to get this out so I'm going to have to take a screwdriver and just hit it on the edge back and forth just tap it go around and just tap it down until it pops out and then I'll be able to get my bushing in with a bushing driver but I don't have a bushing driver that I get it out because this bushing driver for the 350 uh, it, will, it will knock it in but as you can see it's not going to knock it out because it's going to be too big um, and the kit that I have with all my 
questions in it. None, none's gonna fit that to knock it out. So I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver. All right, I'm gonna do the front pump bushing. So I don't have anything to knock it out with bushing wise, bushing driver wise. So I'm gonna have to take a screwdriver and tap it on the, around the edge. Just go around real slow. Okay, um, I'm finding that the the bushing driver that's made for the 350 isn't as helpful as I thought it would be. Because uh, if you're not careful, you can push this uh, bushing and turn and get it in sideways. And I'm finding I'm using my universal bushing driver for the 700R4 and Pro 60E, um, even though the bushing drivers doesn't fit the bushings I'm finding an alternative to getting them in there um, straight and good so I took this bushing driver and put it on backwards and laid it flat and so I'm looking at it at an angle and seeing where the high spots and low spots is and I'm taking it and just hitting it and straighten it out and so once I get it straight, then I'm just using this and just hitting it on like that. But when I do get close, when I get it a little bit further in, I will use my bushing driver. So that. Oh. Coming through? Yeah. Show the camera up here, show top view right here. Chisel, inside, hammer. Let's go look at the bushing. See, that's shining light on it. See how much scarring it did before it even started moving. I hit it a few times from the other end too. So now look in here, shine the camera in here. We've got two more to go up here on the top. Shine the light in there a little bit. Two more bearings, two more bushings in there. So we're going to uh flip this over. So that's where it was. That one that I just took out and I'm gonna have to take this unless there's an easier way somebody knows that I could do alright the two bushings that are on the top of the pump uh, hammered them down and then got it to split if you can see that it split using this uh, big old chisel there took it and I took this small screwdriver and pried it and there behind it and it popped loose where the seam is where the bushing is made you can see the seam there if you can hammer it with a chisel and a screwdriver without scarring up the sides you'll be doing good if you can do it right where the seam is, then you'll be doing even better because it'll pop loose right there like it did here. So hopefully, I'll be able to, uh, hold the camera right over. Pop this through a little bit more, and then get some pliers in there. And take it out. You see it bending. No, it's bent good. I'm gonna try to get these pliers in there. There it is. Let's see all the hammering I did to it and uh did most of it right where the seam is, where it seamed together just for that reason. 
so I can give a good area for it to break apart at. So, and I got one more still left, and I'm gonna have to use some chisel and some screwdrivers to hammer on too. Oh, All right, I got this bush and hammered down, and I got it in the bind. I only got one, one, one side pushed down. And if you look here, I see where the seam is, and it's the top of it opened up a little bit, and that's probably gonna be enough room for me to get this chisel the screwdriver in there and hammer it down all right can you see it in there huh you see I got the uh, bearing away from the wall a little bit and I'm gonna tap the screwdriver down in there see if I can't just get a couple taps where it's split at what that does try this bigger one okay you see how it split alright I'm going to uh, try to get these needle nose in there can you see in there see in there there you go uh, can you see in there? Alright, well it's split down there. There it comes. There it is. I chiseled it right there. Chiseled it right there where it split. And then, uh, got behind it with that little screwdriver. It don't look like I did much damage, if any, to the wall. There's a lot of loose, loose metal. So be sure you spray that real good with brake cleaner and spray all these holes and all those, uh, fluid holes. And then, uh, clean it off real good. And then, uh, put your new ones in. Alright, I got it all cleaned up with brake cleaner. I uh, sprayed real good inside and around all the channels and inside all the holes, the water holes, the oil holes. And I sprayed everything up real good, nice and clean. And then I got my bushings. I'm gonna knock in and knock them down to the measurement that I wrote down that I did before I knocked the old ones out so looks real good you can tell where the old ones were so you'll get a real close idea once you get down there but you still need to be sure you go by your measurement so that way you they're exactly where they was before so and I'll go ahead and hammer these in with my bush and dry Alrighty, I got those two bushings in. So I'm going to turn it over and put the one on the other side in. So, be sure you have a loose set of bushing drivers because the bushing driver 350, specifically made for a 350, isn't working here. So, just to let you know, have a loose set of bushing drivers when you do this. And still, you may not have the perfect fit, so I'll go ahead and set this here. You just want to be sure you don't get it in sideways. Be sure you go down straight. And then hit it once or twice and then check it. Okay. A little flat right there.
Working good. So I'm going to look around and be sure it kind of looks straight across. Oh, that looks good. Looks real good. Ready to put this back together. So there you have the other bushing. 